Despite not having the best launch, Marvel Avengers is a really fun game, but the current gear system is severely lacking. And in a loot heavy game such as this one, having a bad gear system can be an absolute destroyer of the player base. So today I want to mix it up a little bit and take what I've learned from other loot games like Division 1 and 2, Destiny 1 and 2, the Borderlands games, Warframe, and talk about 5 potential changes that I think would vastly improve the gear system in Marvel Avengers. Let's get into it. First, gear rerolls. There's been so many times where I got some loot that had great attributes but I didn't like the perks that came with it or all three perks were amazing but they're for attributes that don't contribute to my build, making it feel really difficult to get that perfect gear piece. If you're looking for a gear piece with particular stats and useful perks, first you gotta hope that it's from the manufacturer you want, either Hammer, Pym, Shield, or Stark. And if you get lucky with the right manufacturer, you need to get lucky again for it to have the right attributes, because each manufacturer has four potential attributes to pull from. Then you need to be even more lucky and hope that it has at least a couple useful perks. The odds sometimes feel a little too stacked against us. I think they should add a reroll option to the gear, whether it's to reroll for one perk or even all perks, or maybe even a manufacturer reroll that could change the attributes. They can make it where it costs a certain amount of fragments and upgrade modules for the reroll, or they can make a new resource type just for the rerolls. I think it would make the gear system a lot more efficient and enjoyable. Most other looter games have some type of reroll option, so I'm hoping that they implement something like this in the near future. Right now, I don't get that excited for an epic or legendary gear piece anymore because the chance of it not being what I'm looking for are extremely high. Number two. Upgrading the gear perk star rating. So if you don't already know, the star rating for each gear piece determines the percentage strength of each perk. Most epics and legendaries have between 3 and 5 stars. The more stars, the stronger the perk. For example, let's say you have a perk that increases the charge rate of a particular heroic ability by 15% and it's a 3 star gear piece. If that same perk was on a 5 star gear piece, it would be closer to 20 or 25%. Although less impactful than a reroll option, having the ability to use certain resources to upgrade the star rating of a gear piece would be an awesome change to the gear system and be a great way for the player to feel like they've truly made that ultimate Mac Daddy build. Maybe this could cost fragments and a bunch of upgrade modules, or since it's not as important as a reroll option and just more of like an icing on the cake upgrade to take your build from better to best, you could make this gear star upgrade use resources that are harder to come by, like polychorons or maybe even a new resource. Number three. Clarifications on gear rarity drop rates and increasing drop rates on harder difficulties. Currently, the only way to officially obtain exotic gear is through Heroic Elite Hives and Mega Hives. I say officially because that's what the dev said, but I did read one Reddit post where someone apparently got an exotic drop from an elite villain sector. So who knows? Since the Mega Hives are 41 floors in total and the Heroic Elite Hives are 14 floors, you would think that the Mega Hives offer a better chance at an exotic, but we don't know. We know that the chances in both mission types are extremely low, but we don't know the specific drop rate percentage. If we're going to grind a mission type that's harder and three times as long as another, if there is an increase in a chance at an exotic, it would definitely be nice to know it. As far as drop rates on harder difficulties, I've seen people saying you do get better loot for increasing the difficulties, and I've seen people saying you don't. So I don't know if anyone knows for sure. I think you do, I know you get more resources, but I'm not positive that it increases the rarity drop rate. I definitely think they should increase the rewards on harder difficulties, even if it's only increasing the chance at legendaries a few percentage points. And doing the same with exotics. That may be already implemented into the game, but without any official word from Crystal Dynamics, I can't say for sure. I feel like they should definitely add something in-game to show us the percentage chance of legendary and exotic gear pieces in each mission type and difficulty. Even if it wasn't something they added in-game, they could at least make a blog post releasing the drop rates. I feel like that would put us at ease. And we would know for sure if completing a mission on Brutal instead of Challenge 2 actually made a difference, and we would know for sure if the Mega Hive was actually worth it, or we should just spend our time running Heroic Elite Hives. Number 4. Gear Sets with Bonus Perks for Wearing Multiple Pieces of the Set This is something we've seen in a lot of looter games, and I won't be surprised if Crystal Dynamics adds these in the near future. I feel like Gear Sets could be the ultimate in-game build goal. How awesome would it be if each hero had a couple sets that offered crazy bonuses when you're rocking the full set? Like if Hulk had a bonus perk that made him unstaggerable when he has over a certain amount of health. And the more of the set pieces you have equipped, the less required health to be unstaggerable. Or Cap had a perk that gave him a chance at auto evading attacks. The more gear set pieces you have, the higher the chance at that auto evade. Or if Thor had some bonus that gave each of his melee attacks a high chance at bonus lightning damage. The more set pieces, the higher the chance. They can make these gear pieces very hard to get. Like in the future, when and if they add raids, one of the pieces from the set could be a reward. This will be a really nice in-game goal to push for and easily make all the grinding to get to that point well worth it in my opinion. Number 5. Ways to Guarantee an Exotic Gear Piece 
Currently, the chances of getting an exotic are extremely rare. I think they should definitely add a mission type that guarantees an exotic. Now, I don't think exotics should be easy to come by. Wow, I've said exotics way too many times in this video, but we're almost done. Stick with me. But right now, they seem almost non-existent. And with the way gear works now, if you do somehow get an exotic, there's a good chance that it won't have the perks or stats that you're looking for. I'm hoping that when the AIM Secret Labs drop, they'll be really tough and you'll have to work as a coordinated team to do them, but they'll guarantee an exotic, at least once a week. If not with the Secret Labs, I think they'll add a raid or dungeon type mission in the near future that'll give you a guaranteed exotic. Like if they added something that guaranteed you an exotic and you had a chance at a gear set piece, that would be pretty nice. Right now, I think the exotics are just a little too rare. Now, if they were guaranteed to have the stats and the perks that you were looking for, then by all means, make them incredibly difficult to get. But like I said, unless they add a reroll option, if you do get an exotic, there's a chance it'll either be useless or you'll have to reshape your entire build and base it around the exotic you got. Thanks everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating would go a long way, as well as subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Let me know in the comments sections what you thought about these ideas to improve the gear system and sound off with some suggestions of your own. I want to know what y'all think. Until next time, y'all stay safe, stay awesome. I'm out of here. Peace. It's yum. Yo, 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 yo. Non perfecta es. Incontinent. <coughs> 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 <coughs>